You've been watching coverage of the speaker's election this week. You may have noticed something out of the ordinary, besides, of course, the historic levels of chaos within the Republican Party. Because there is still no speaker of the 118th Congress, there are no rules currently governing the House. And that means the cameras, usually tightly restricted to certain angles and locations, are able to roam more freely. So we're getting all sorts of fascinating shots we would not normally be able to see. Everything from this surprising conversation between Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Paul Gosar to this photo of Nancy Mace holding a dog as she casts a vote. Now, as we reflect today on the second anniversary of the insurrection of the Capitol, it's also impossible not to compare what we saw two years ago with the images from this week. Thanks to the great work of the photographers of the Capitol, particularly those from C-SPAN, there are some especially striking examples. One of the most frightening moments on January 6, 2020, came when the mob tried to break through the door to the House floor while members of Congress were still being evacuated. Security barricaded the door with heavy furniture and aimed their weapons at the windows. Multiple Republican congressmen rose to help defend their colleagues, including Troy Nels of Texas, who you can see there in the blue shirt. It was an incredibly tense scene that thankfully did not end in violence as members were cleared from the floor and the mob moved on. This week, those same doors leading onto the House floor formed the backdrop for a very different sort of Republican action. Today, the cameras captured Paul Gosar of Arizona and Matt Gates of Florida, two members of the anti-McCarthy group, deep in conversation, surrounded by several other smiling congressmen. Two years ago, members of Congress feared for their lives as the violent mob sent by the Republican president descended on the Capitol. In the House gallery, the upper level, where members of the public and the press usually sit, members donned gas masks amid concerns about tear gas and other chemicals in the air. This week, thanks to C-SPAN's liberated cameras, we were able to see the gallery back to serving its intended purpose. We even got this rare glimpse at the vote tally projected on the walls above. You never, ever, ever get to see that. Of course, the violence and mayhem was not limited to the House on January 6, 2021. One of the most unbelievable moments came on the Senate floor when the man who became known as the QAnon shaman stood atop the dais He's currently serving over three years in prison for his actions that day. On Tuesday in that exact spot, Vice President Kamala Harris presided over the first session of the new Senate and administered the oath of office to the senators, including new Senator John Fetterman of Pennsylvania. It's not just the footage that evokes so many memories of January 6, 2021. Just look at the group of far-right members causing chaos and voting against Kevin McCarthy this week. All but one of them voted to overturn the results of the election two years ago. Today, just one Republican joined a group of lawmakers marking the anniversary of the insurrection, along with family members of fallen and injured officers. And I guess that shouldn't be too surprising, considering the fact that just months after the insurrection, 21 Republicans voted against awarding those officers the Congressional Gold Medal. And again, unsurprisingly, 13 of those same Republicans are among the same anti-McCarthy group. And while they were fighting and haggling and failing for a 13th time to elect a Speaker of the House, the men and women who valiantly defended those Republican lawmakers and everyone else at the Capitol on January 6, 2021, were getting some much-deserved recognition at the White House this afternoon when President Biden awarded many of them, along with election workers and officials, the Presidential Citizens Medal. On this day two years ago, our democracy held because we, the people, as the Constitution refers to us, we, the people, did not flinch. We, the people, endured. We, the people, prevailed. And on this day of remembrance, joined by the Vice President and the Second Gentleman and all of you, we honor a remarkable group of Americans who embodied the best before, during, and after January the 6th. 2021.